All right, welcome back to the Sonic well Forces playthrough. Then everything fizzled out when that Phantom Ruby kicked But then in. again, that was that badly uh, programmed, Phantom wasn't it, Ruby's Knuckles? Badly right. planned out. Even if it's a virtual reality, <sighs> it's as strong as the real shadow. Rouge, have you found oh, there's the real shadow. No, not yet. But I have reports that Eggman's database is located at the chemical plant. If we yes. That could be a good place. That sounds like a promising lead. We have to figure out the secret behind Infinite's power and virtual reality. Tails, can you handle this? Exactly. Yeah, I'll take Sonic. I mean the other Sonic with me and head to the chemical plant. All right, that sounds like a plan. So next up is, of course, the chemical plant. But it's nowhere near as good as the one in Sonic 2 or in Sonic Mania. Although I will bet the music isn't too bad. I do actually prefer the old... I, to be fairly honest, I prefer the old music, the one that goes. It goes. That was the good start, wasn't it? Ooh. Okay, so I think I might. Oh, I need to get a red ring, though. I think it uses. I think it uses some uh, of the Genesis music um, instruments, though, which is pretty good, though. At least the music does, is pretty good. That's the only good thing about um, Classic Sonic is the uh, Genesis-like um, instrumentation. But its gameplay just feels like nowhere near as good as it was in, you know, Generation. Generation Sonic fared way better. I've actually heard that in the uh, PC version that there is a mod where Sonic handles exactly like what he did in Generations. So basically with the mod, I will say this right now, Sonic was held a lot better. I actually saw it showcased up by some call me Johnny. I will say this right now, some call me Johnny, you are a legend. We're showing it off. Showing off, of course, the new, uh, ouch. Oh, what's up, Kayo? <laughs> Kayo save you. Yeah. Yeah, so because I'm playing this on the Switch, I get notific- I usually get notifications recorded on my, um, on my- on my other media, especially when, of course, any friends that come online or play, start playing some video games, some games. Uh, enough with that. However, I will say this right now that some call me Johnny actually did a showcase of what of Sonic made of Sonic Mania's new. Uh, Stay sharp. Well, I get the. Uh, let's, oh, I hear comes the drowning music. I do like the drowning music though. The, the it's it's the original drowning music, which is pretty good. I'm pretty glad that he actually brought the drow the original drowning music from Sonic One back. I do like the drowning music though. It is pretty scary. I'm basically pretty scary. It sounds a bit like too much like Jaws though. However, I like it Sonic. Generations, however, unfortunately, if you get hit, you lose all your rings. Well, unless you played as a specific type of uh, a specific type of avatar, uh, and you know what kind of animal that you do. Some of the animals actually retain some of their rings, or if you're playing as a hedgehog, you drop your rings so you can recollect them. Sonic, as classic Sonic, you can pick your rings back up again, like what you do in the classic days, which is good. So. Yeah. <sighs> so, this is where the database. Well, let's see what happens. Hold on a sec while I access the data from this computer. Okay. Failed battle plans, robot designs. Wow, he's got like 10 terabytes of selfies. <laughs> <laughs> 10 terabytes of selfies. Found it. Virtual reality weapon. The Phantom Room. Oh, yes. Weapon that takes control of people's visual and depth perceptions to feed false information to the brain, creating a new reality. Oh. Like a dream so real, if you bump yourself in it, your sleeping self will bruise? But it's hard to believe. Wow. Eggman experimented with lots of prototypes and then incorporated the final version into Infinite. But one of them, I'm basically. If data correctly, then there might be a weakness. This is huge. Let's get this information back to the others. Well, this information is extremely helpful. Well, however... I don't like sitting on the bench. 
there's nothing to do till Tails gets back. Way to jinx it! Metal Sonic has been spotted in the city! Whoa! Is it another fake? Looks Why likely. Why making a fake out of something that already isn't real? Couldn't they just build more? Either way, it's getting wrecked. Let's go. Oh Parker. dear, looks like we're having another showdown with Metal Sonic. Oh dear, looks like that. Seems like this guy keeps coming back for more. Seems like Metal Sonic keeps coming back for more, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, is it? oh, wait a minute. And by, by the way, I was, I was a bit distracted, yeah, though. Kind of was... Uh, Strange. Didn't realize that. See him anywhere. Uh oh. Whew, that was a close one. Good work, partner. Keep it up. Oh my god, here we go. It's lights out for you. Yeah, I didn't even time it well. If I got perfect, all could have got a lot of points, but we can't let these things keep rampaging around the city. Oh dear, miss. So this is thanks to the Phantom Ruby too, huh? Eggman's new invention is a real pain in the neck. Exactly, Sonic. So now let's go. Ah. Uh, uh. Oh, that hurt. All right, let's go. So basically, in order to defeat Metal Sonic, we have to keep on hitting. We have to use Sonic's uh, Sonic's primary attack. But you could use the uh, Avatar's uh, Whispod to actually defeat any enemies that come our way. And also, we've got to avoid these electric, these electric gates. Oh dear, I can't seem to reach him right now. Oh, there we go. I had to boost it to him. I couldn't do exactly. Uh oh, there's, there's of course the end of it. However, it's in boss battles. If there is a phantom roof, there's the phantom. The Phantom Ruby. The Phantom Ruby has like a dead end because if you hit the dead end, that means it slides out for you and you lose a life instantly. So it's instant death. All right. So one more to go. One more set of how many attacks to go, and then we'll be dead hit. And then Metal, get, Metal Sonic is as good as dead. Oh dear. Ah. Oh, oh shit. Come on. All right, we need more boost. Come on, let's go. Let's do this. I didn't even do it. There we go. Partner, when we join forces, the sky's the limit. All right, double boost time. There we go. So basically, Mel Sonic is toast and trashed. Okay, so now that's that done, we finally got finally got rid of this metallic ma metallic madman, me metallic fake. All right. Hey. That was great! We're like a well-oiled machine! Fighting a well-oiled machine. <laughs> oh, Sonic! <laughs> well, why did they do the fist bump as well? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's it was inevitable, wasn't it? Okay, so now Team Sonic have actually increased their way. Now we've finally got it. So now we are on to our next one. We've got another secret stage, but next up we've got is Guardian Rock, Green Hill. Got it, Sonic. I figured out a way to stop Eggman's Phantom Ruby. Great work, Tails. Based on these readings, the Phantom Ruby requires an incredible amount of energy, which only the Death Egg can provide. We simply stop the energy transfer, and boom! The Phantom Ruby is practically useless. Yes. Simply. 
Last I checked, the death egg is a heavily fortified... Well, death egg. Well, duh. But I came up with a plan. First, we distract Eggman. While he's not paying attention, we use the chemical plant computer to hack into the death egg's weapon systems and shut it down. With no weapons, destroying the death egg will be a piece of cake. No death egg means the Phantom Ruby is nearly useless. Well, you know, it's just crazy enough to work. So, first we need a distraction. <laughs> I'm on it. No way, Knuckles. You're too easily distracted. Exactly, not a good Amy. Trait for a distraction. Plus, you're our commander. We kind of need you here. How about the rookie? Eggman would never expect it. It may even throw him off a little. Good idea. You got your orders, rookie. We only have one more day before Eggman's plan is executed. So let's hustle. So let's hustle, Bilbo. So, Bilbo, let's hustle to Guardian Rock. Green Hill. Ah, with that, we're, we're two thirds of the game, by the way, folks, at this point. Unidentified heat source detected. Requesting analysis. Hang on. It's a multi legged battle mech. The energy readings are off the charts. So Eggman had another weapon up his sleeve. Yeah, exactly. He had another tr dirty trick up his sleeve. It exactly looks like that. That's what Eggman is a dirty, dirty. A dirty dog. What a dirty dog. Oh, I've just realized that I managed to uh, send flames to a wall. <laughs> Alright, so. The chemical plants. So basically, the chemical plants will. So basically, while the avatar is, while the rookie gets the destruction done, Sonic will go to the modern Sonic will go to the to, to the chemical plant to destroy to destroy anything, and the the and classic Sonic will be able to destroy the death egg. Oh, that was bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, waiting. I had to skip that part because I died a couple more times. Oh shit, here we go. I will try, Knuckles, but this guy's gonna absolutely try and kick me. Whoa. Oh. Okay, so let's get let's beat this let's beat this piece of trash up. This piece let's get rid of this piece of garbage. The waves just scrapped that machine. Score one for the resistance. Yes. Guardian Rock is completed, and now we are going to head on to our next stage. Alright. Okay, so now we oh we're nearly halfway through Eggman's uh, Eggman's push. So what we got off to next? Which one is it first? Oh, it's chemical plants. We're gonna go to the network the terminal. Plant. How's the rookie doing with the distraction? So far, so good. We might have to stop using the nickname Rookie if the kid keeps this up. Next, we've got to get to the computers at the chemical plant and shut down the Death Egg's weapon system. Perfect. I've been waiting for my turn to bust some heads. Yeah, so it's time to get rid of these. Let's go through to the network terminal and let's bust some heads open. So now we're f f a third of the way through the game, folks. 
Another 10 stages to go. Ugh, I nearly fell off. That's right. Sonic is already aware. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, the music at this stage actually is pretty good. It's one of my favorite pieces of music in the game. I admit, I'm going to be honest with you, this is probably one of my favorite stages of the game because it's actually pretty... It's not... It's actually pr pretty well designed. For a game that hasn't got the best... Isn't the best designed Sonic game of all time, it is certainly, certainly has got a good design for... Good, got a good design of it and it is actually pretty fun though but it's very rare to have a see him I'd enjoy this even more if I wasn't on a mission okay I'm in the computer room is up ahead and of course the winning coat inside the uh when you actually get oh that was just oh that was just not fair because the pur purple water just uh, forced me down, and I got just got, and I got hit because of the purple water. Bastards! Admittedly, I'm gonna be honest with you. The best part about this one is, of course, it's the um, it's it's the the music changes when you go inside. Oh, here comes the pig roaches trap. Uh, this is the pig roaches trap. This is what, uh, D this is DSP's worst pig roach trap. Oh! Oh, god damn it! That! The purple water just screwed me over there. I was about to jump onto that platform and then I got screwed over. Thanks a lot, per Mega Mac, you piece of shit. Piece of Mega Mac shit. I'm not trying to be like Dark Side Phil, but. Ugh, that was. That was just. That was. You see how much I hate the Mega Mac in this game so much? Well, it's Sonic Stage, most likely, but. Okay, so I've got two Mario. Okay. Alright. Uh. Whee! I found a way through to the computer room. Alright! Now we can destroy the death Ah, uh, and of course we get to the and that takes us straight to the network terminal. That was a short but very sweet stage. Quite a sweet stage. I would have got an S rank if it wasn't for that Mega Mac. If it was for the Mega Mac, I would have got an S rank. Typical. But at least, unlike other Sonic games, you don't lose your score, which is fantastic. Well, most 3D Sonic games out there. All right, so that's that done. We can finally get on with our next stage. Okay, we've tore through Eggman's through. Well, so we tore through Eggman's forces now. Well, half through, through half of Eggman's, uh, you know, take will take over. Here we go. Hurry. Just destroy the death egg and cut off the power supply. You're making it sound like a walk in the park. This is a death egg. Don't sweat it. The other Sonic has this under control. Don't what Vector, I'm going to be honest with you, Vector. Can I ask you something? You worry too much. Really. <laughs> anyway, we're off to the Death Egg. Okay, so I will... I thought we shut it down. Probably switched over to auxiliary power. Not to worry. Okay, I'm going to say this is another good, uh, uh, another decent tune from the usage the, of the usage of the uh, Genesis um, instrumentation. And I think I know that what one of the uh, the last s classic Sonic stage will have, of course, the um. What is it again? Yes, it does have the uh, you know some of the drum beats from uh, Street Fighter. Oh, come on, Seb. Thank you. Uh, Anti-gravity. Anti-gravity. Here we go again. I, I haven't even missed you that much. Uh, you'll get your chance, Vector, but in another game. 
Anti-gravity is back. We are, I haven't even missed you even once. Oh, I hate oh, these electric things. They're going to be a pain. Oh, I was supposed to do that. Oh, I went the wrong. I went the wrong way. Oh, God damn it! No. These these conveyor belts have got to absolutely. What I just need to get the conveyor belts. Oh, this is the worst. This is the absolute worst. But this is the worst part of the game. I have to try get time by. Okay, so. All right, so with that being set up, ooh, oh, I, oh, this one, this part, I also haven't missed it, Death Egg as well. I haven't even forgot this part. You know, that makes you go through, of course, all those, you know. Like the, I love this part. Ah! Oh. I didn't even anticipate that. Sorry. Anyway, we're nearly, we're nearly, we're nearly done with this part. But this stage is really st overstaying its welcome, folks. This is a really long stage, folks. This is And that's what we're going to do. We're about to get out of there now. S rank for the first time. Yes. Ugh. Okay, so that's that done. And now we can finally see the Death Egg destroyed. Yes! Finally! We can fi we finally got rid of the Death Egg. Yeah! Ah, Q-Bot and Orbot. I never miss you, neither. Don't remind me. <laughs> Five more hours before the plan is executed. Infinite, let's make a tactical retreat so that we can remobilize our forces. And by tactical retreat, you mean to say, flee with our tails between our legs. I'm quite displeased about this. Uh. Shut up and just follow me! And by that, go to Metropolis. Now with the death egg destroyed, we can finally get on with, of course, our next part of the attack. So now we see that the death egg has been in utter disrepair now. And we have taken almost a three quarters of robotics of Dr. Eggman's whole entire world dominant plans. But with that being said, however, folks, that is the end of the part. I will stop right there. But I'll see you guys next time for when I'm going to take on the next stage, starting off with Metropolitan Highway and Metropolis, and confronting Dr. Eggman. And let's see if we can try and fight this off once and for all. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in part five of the Sonic Forces Let's Play. So I'll see you guys next time.